Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome back to Edenia. My name is Krimmer Clown, and you're watching me play City Skylines. And last time we divided the town into all town Edenia, and we're still waiting on a name. I'm going to wait a couple of episodes before naming something, so everyone has a chance to submit their favorite name. Um, the industry zone, we're going to expand this, probably. Uh, we need to buy some more land, because it will be really really favorable if we got this piece of land so we could uh it's currently um 3400 simoleons uh, if we buy this piece of land we can make the industrial zone expand this way and connect directly to the highway instead of going through this roundabout uh we'll disconnect it from here and we can have the uh this roundabout be the entrance into town um we could upgrade this to a bigger road and, well, for now it's not really necessary. Uh, we could have the highway uh, splinter off from here. And we could have the people uh, g yeah, give them access to town via the highway. But right now that's not really an issue because traffic is very low, as you can see. It's nowhere near capacity, so we're doing fine. Um, if we can buy this piece of land, then we can definitely do some more forestry as well, which is really good. Forestry is a really nice um, nice industry because it's clean and it produces a lot of money. So, And we need some industry very soon, so let's see if we can take a loan out. Can we take a loan out? No, we are maxed uh, regarding loans. So we'll just have to wait for a bit. Uh, we're also near our next... Uh, milestone, busy town. Uh, not quite, I see. Uh, boom town, we're almost boom town. So, um, yeah, we could wait for that. Uh, it will give us some cash because every time you upgrade to another type of town, you get a bit of cash, which is nice. Uh, but also, we have just made Big Bank apparently this week. So, uh, yeah, let's buy the tile. There we go, we've got just about enough. And. Let's try to expand this because, uh, yeah, we definitely need it. So if we grab a road from here and we'll... Uh, oh, we don't have enough money for that. Um, we might want to upgrade this sooner rather than later uh, to a big road. But for now, this will have to do because we're shit out of money. Um, yeah, let's make it another... Something like that. Yeah, that will be fine. And we definitely need one of uh, these. Where is it? Highway roundabouts. I think it's this one. It's, it costs 16000 just to make this. Uh, it's one of these. Uh, you can unlock one of these. You can also make them yourself, of course. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's not the best if you make them yourself. Uh, it's really hard to make it all work. These ones are pre-configured pre and they work quite well. Uh, I've seen people make some very, very interesting, uh, very interesting road designs, though, and they can be very profitable and very, yeah, traffic condoning. But for now, we'll just use what we've got. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to make this into a big forestry area. So let's grab the district brush. There we go, and let's make it a big one this time. Uh, so if we grab this and we do it like this, and we follow the road. Onto here. There we go. Now this is called Kent Park. Again, I'm going to name it uh, name it name pending. It's probably going to be something something woods, but uh, yeah, I'll leave that one to you. So we could just give this guy uh, these guys a bunch of industry like this. There we go. And this will be considered a forestry only specialization zone. So we grab forestry, we add it to the district, there we go, and now it's a forestry only zone. So we need some power and water over here, of course, there we go. That's going to be it, very nice. And we could eventually even bump up this road, but I don't think we need to do it right now. We do need this one though, and we need to see if we can't take it from here, because that will be... Oh, I can't snap to this road apparently. Alright, there we go. We'll do it like this. We don't have enough money, but we definitely need this. 
Um, you know what? I think I can just grab it up to the end of the road from here. I think that will be close enough. It doesn't need to be perfectly square, and if it isn't, we'll just fix it afterwards. These guys will have some nice, uh, some nice water now. And now for power, because they will also need power. So let's grab this. Let's put it down the side of the road. There we go. And I hope this connects. I hope it does. Does it? Come on. I think it does. I don't see these guys complaining about power. So yeah, it does. Great. Now these guys uh, will definitely need their own fire station. Because uh, it's all the way out in the boonies, and we don't have 12,000 simoleons. It'll have to wait. You know what? For the time being, we'll give these guys a policy for smoke detectors. There we go. Also a smoking ban. Oh no, that's just for health and happiness, apparently. Um, right. We don't need schools in this area. Uh, so it's just going to be uh, just going to be smoke detectors, and that will cater for some of the industry. Now let's um, let's assess how we should link this up to the highway for now, because that's going to be very um, very profitable to do it like that. So what if we do it like this? We'll just have a turn off. There we go, and people can actually get off here. Uh, they cannot go. Um, go onto this lane, so we'll have to make a bridge. Now, if we do something like this, right, we take it up there, and we'll take it across, and we don't have enough money. There we go. Come on. It's just 1,500. Come on. Speed it up a bit. <laughs> this is going to be a very basic traffic situation, and we'll just take it back down over here. It's going to be nice and basic. We could, of course, do this, but I think that's going to give us more jams and less of a solution, in all honesty. So let's just do it like this. It's going to take a couple more, couple more bucks. There we go. And connect this up. There we go. Now, it's not the cleanest, but it will work so people can go onto here and then up here all around that way and they can do the same from this side so people who want to go into this uh, part of town they can which is exactly what we need so um industry picking up wood we'll have a clean exit out of the uh, out of the highway uh, we'll fix this later if we uh, if we need to so um yeah, if we got the cash, we'll fix it. For now, this will do just fine. All right, uh, and people can come in from this uh, this way of the highway as well, if they really want to. Uh, we could have a, oh, there we go. Um, we've got ore specialization as well now, which is great, which is non-renewable, by the way. So if you ever uh, do some ore specialization, it will run out eventually. Um, Recycling, we've got recycling, which is really nice. And we can do the uh, three-way intersections now, officially. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, too little, too late for that one. But we've got a bit of cash now, so yeah, we might just as well. Let's pause the game. There we go. Let's, let's fix this proper. Because this is not going to work. Not properly, at least. There we go. Um, we'll get rid of some highway go and we'll grab the road tool go onto highways and we'll put in one of these intersections now we need to change this up a bit um and we need to get rid of a bit more road these things are huge there we go now all right you can right click to turn it around 90 degrees if you want to um yeah, so let's do it something like this. Just a bit more straight. There we go. It's going to be a bit wonky. But I guess we'll just have to live with it. There we go. Let's grab the highways. Highways are always one direction. There we go. Oh, that's not a highway. <laughs> apparently. Uh, can we upgrade to highway? Yes, we can. 
There we go. Nice. Nice and clean. Now, fix this. There we go. And we'll fix this as well. And we'll fix this as well. It's not it's not very very clean or very straight, but it's gonna work. So these will uh we'll just have to connect it to the main road. So this is a one square road for now. I guess we'll just have to do. It will just have to do. There we go. We'll need to uh, switch this one around with the upgrade. There we go. And this one can just stay like this. All right. So we've got an entrance and an exit. Uh, we might... Yeah, we... I say we might. Uh, we definitely need to upgrade this to, to bigger roads. So let's do it. Let's upgrade all of this to bigger roads. And all this industry will have to be re-established but that's fine um should we upgrade this as well yeah why not let's just upgrade this to highway there we go nice and clean now this is a bit of a bit of a bumpy ride <laughs> oh wow that's gonna be uh that's gonna be something else it's more like a ramp than a bit of highway jeez all right um i i guess the trucks will just manage I guess they will magically jump the gap if they need to. So this is all going to be industry again. I will uh, take it all the way up to here so to make sure the power hits. There we go. And it will need to rebuild, of course. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice big road. There we go. Really nice. And they can, they can go faster on this as well, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, we need some, uh, we need a fire department just down the road. Do we need it by the highway or should we? Yeah, let's just plonk it down there. I think that will be quite satisfactory. And let's plonk down a couple of cables here as well, just to link this up immediately. There we go. Oh, I don't think that connected properly. Uh, no, nope, it didn't. Connect this and connect this. There we go. That's going to be fine. And these people automatically have power now, which is uh, also very nice. So yeah, we've got a big forestry area going on. And we'll have some side roads. Because uh, we're still in demand for industry. And a lot of it as well. So let's just grab this one. We'll uh, extend it another two. There we go. And we'll have another three lane road. Six lane, actually, if you think about it. Just have it like this, and we'll connect it back up with a small road all the way to here. And it's costing us too many, too many simoleons. Uh, we can zone this in at our leisure. There we go. We'll just do it like this. And we'll do this as well. So we'll all fill up nicely. Great. Uh, this is not part of the district, so we'll have to make sure that it is. So let's grab a brushing tool and let's include it into our endeavors. There we go. And this as well. Great stuff. There we go. This is all um, this is all a forestry zone right now. So we've got pretty much demand for everything a bit right now, but mostly commercial. What's happening? These drugstores are getting abandoned because the workers' education was too low, and that's why we're having more demand for industrial, uh, sorry, commercial zone right now. Uh, so let's take a look at our education. Um, elementary school availability is good, and highway school, uh, high school, <laughs> highway school, right? High school availability is, is enough as well. We might need another high school soon because we are dipping under a uh, under capacity, but for now. This should do fine, so why are people complaining? There's two elementary schools, and there is one high school. For a town this big, should be quite enough. Alright, so um, commercial, uh, commercial lots are getting abandoned because there are not enough educated workers. They need some uh, educated workplaces and well-educated workplaces. Right, there's only one job available. Huh. So we've got plenty of uneducated workers, but they're only hiring one at the moment. They've got six out of one. Oh, right. That's probably going to be the, the problem. They hire too many, uh, too many people without, uh, without an education. 
And that means there's no room for anyone else. So as soon as this generation topples over, um, we've got highly educated people. Uh, at least well-educated people. Um, well, not, not too much just yet. People in this area are simply not going to the high school. Which is strange. Huh. We've got 1% well-educated. Alright, perhaps we need to make their lives a bit... A bit more fun. I don't know why I think that's going to be the solution. But I think if we put down a park here... People will be happier to go to school. Uh, we can also just enforce a, a citywide district. Oh, that's the wrong menu. A citywide district uh, condoning education. Citizens will prefer working over education. Uh, oh, no, that's the wrong one. We need uh, the other one. Education boost. And we can't do it just yet. So schools out uh, is like um, telling people not to go to school and get a job early. So we're promoting... Uh, small industry work and well I say that but um, industry work like forestry uh, requires an education uh, at least a certain degree of, uh, of training at least you can't have uneducated workers in a sawmill that's gonna spell disaster um, let's see we have some piping issues here and I wholeheartedly agree and we're in the red we are in the red that's not good. Um, why are we in the red? Why? Budget's good. Taxes are good. We are in the red and losing money fast. It's because of all these... Uh, it's because of all these commercial buildings ceasing to function. So all the abandoned buildings we can demolish. Uh, they will get auto-replaced uh, sooner rather than later. But you can also demolish them to... A, save some money, and B, um, uh, get get some more new buildings up very fast. So that's good. Um, that's all the abandoned buildings for now. Yeah, we definitely need uh, some more... Uh, no, not commercial in, uh, district. We need some residential very fast. We're gaining a bit of money now. Alright, that was close. That was really close. Uh, these industries, they need water before long. So let's try and see if we can uh, can save up 400. It takes a couple of weeks. Uh, our profit's going back up. So that's going to be it's going to be really nice. There we go. Come on. Also, sooner rather than later, we need to take a look at water availability and sewage treatment because we might need some more. Uh, yeah, we might need some more of the, uh, oh, come on, just plonk it down, will ya? 600, come on. Uh, we might need some more, uh, water pumps and sewage treatment facilities. That's what I wanted to say. There we go, it's in. Alright, so, uh, everything that's happening over here, we, we can definitely get rid of these buildings, because also these buildings will, uh, these buildings will lower the land value. And lowering land value is really bad um, because these people will not want to live here. These people will want to live somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that low drone, but uh, a lawnmower just ran past my house, drove past my house rather. So um, yeah, they're busy out in the street, uh, out in the fields, I mean, mowing the lawn. It would be a bit strange if you're out in the street mowing grass. Anyway, um, yeah, apparently we've got a lack of workers here, which, yeah, I can imagine because there's no housing in the entire area. So, uh, since this is a clean, uh, uh, since this is a, a clean industry anyway, uh, we can just have some, we can just have a district right here. And that will be, that will be just fine. So, let's plonk down a, a couple of houses, just like this. And we need to give these guys a couple of facilities as well. And let's just uh, let's just expand this. Let's make it a wiggly road thing. So let's let's make this something like this. And you know what? We'll connect it up to. Uh, it's not very it's not very wise to connect it up to here or here because um, 
uh, first of all, it's a bit expensive. And second of all, uh, this will create a massive junction. And you don't want that. You want small junctions. This is even too big of a junction, if you ask me. But for now, it will handle it. Um, you know what? We'll make this a nice, natural, uh, natural looking road system. Oh, come on. We are always struggling with money, but we're making so much profit. It's insane. So yeah, let's uh, let's connect this back up to here, and let's make this all residential, and we'll have a, a small, small bit of commercial in here as well. And these people will need services, a lot of services, because they will need uh, a clinic, they will need garbage disposal, etc., etc. They will need it all. Also, I think we've unlocked. Uh, if we take a look at health, yeah, death care. So we definitely need a cemetery sometime soon. Uh, but first. We need things like water. Definitely need water. Oh, come on. Cash is going to be a big problem. And there we go. Now, if you do it like this, somewhere along this, I think that will be... Yeah, that's that's going to cut it. That's going to be enough. Um, we've got power. How are, do, how are we doing on the old power? We might need another coal generator very soon. Whew, it's going to be an expensive month. It's going to be a really expensive month. I keep taking a look at the loans, but I know we can't take any. So let's just plonk down a couple of houses. Uh, let's do it like this. There we go. This too. This is all going to be residential. And all these people, they will uh, be able to work here. And these people need some schools. And these people need some, uh, at least some elementary schools. So... Yeah, it's going to be really expensive to make an entirely new town, actually. It's, it's going to be a separate town, really. Um, that's going to be really expensive. So these guys, oh, there are workers turning up now, which is cool, which is nice. Because there's people living nearby. And these people need to shop somewhere, so they need a bit of a commercial district. You know what, we'll make this a bit of a commercial district. They'll, uh, we'll just have to move. Very sorry about that. There we go. I'll have a couple of stores, just so you can uh, you can man up and go to the store nearby instead of all the way into town. Uh, we could make this, this bit, we could make this a commercial zone as well. There we go. There's a lot of dinging and donging happening, so a lot of upgrading of buildings. Uh, apparently, people are getting educated because these buildings, they, these are still the old buildings of course, but... New buildings are popping up. This one just destroyed itself. And there's one rebuilding right now. So there's demand again. So that's nice. There's also a lot of demand for industry. Uh, how's noise pollution, by the way, on those sawmills? Yeah, there's, that's going to be really nasty. Noise pollution is going to be a thing. Um, anyway, we need to expand this. And Oh, we've got... Wow, I don't know what happened. Oh, we, we were running on uh, fast forward. That's why. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got a bit of cash now, so let's uh, let's do some death care, shall we? Let's do it in a main town first, because that's going to be... Oh, yeah, uh, power. We need power first. That's the first thing on the agenda, literally. So there we go. Can we plonk it down somewhere here? I guess. I'm hoping. Hoping this will uh, not encroach. This will definitely encroach on the town. So let's just plonk it down. Next to the old, next to the other one. There we go. That's going to take care of our power needs for now. Um, sewage is going to be a thing. Yeah, I, I, I totally, I totally called it. Oh, sewage treatment's offline because of power issues. That's why. And now it's online again. Great. Oh, <sighs> all right. It's uh, it's rather hard keeping up with a, with a small town like this. Uh, actually, it's not a small town anymore. It's a boom town apparently. I don't know where you live, but if it's 2,400 people living in your neighborhood, it's probably not considered a boom town. I would call it a village. But then again, uh, this is uh, this is an American game, I guess. Um, well, I don't think I don't think that's true. I say it's an American game, but if you consider the um, match day DLC and the football, it would be really European. Anyway. Um, that's fine. Um, whatever, it, whatever kind of company this is, um, I don't think 200, uh, 2,400 people is a hell of a lot. 
Anyway, um, we'll get back to this. We'll uh, we'll try to restore the old town. Let's uh, let's see if we can pique some interest for uh, for the commercial zones. We are doing well in education. Uh, well educated people is running up. So all the buildings that get replenished get some well educated people off of it too. Uh, we definitely need a preschool, uh, elementary school up against here somewhere. We'll just have it along this row, along with the other services like the fire department, police department. Fire, we're doing fine for fire, I guess. Not really. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to figure this out. We'll have to sort it out. And, ah, there we go, the graveyard. That's going to be one thing that we need right now, right away, because people are going to be dying soon. And, you know what, we'll plonk it somewhere in the middle of town, uh, so that we get the best coverage we can. There we go, we'll just get rid of some of this commercial zone. There we go, everyone's happy, bring out your dead. Number urns on the mantelpiece, the new cemetery is open, there we go. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll continue this at a later date. So, once again, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.